Trouble keeping cool this summer? Yes. <sighs> Unless you want to keep doing this, you may want to step inside to get some air conditioning. But what's the science behind it? The basic principle is evaporative cooling, and it's been around for a long time. Ancient Egyptians were the first to use the concept to cool their homes. They would hang wet reeds in the windows, and as the wind blew in, the cooler, evaporated air would blow in with it. Fast forward a couple thousand years when Benjamin Franklin and chemist Dr. John Hadley introduced chemicals into the process. They dipped the thermometer in ether, used billows to increase the intensity of the wind blowing over it, and dropped the temperature down to seven degrees. Whew, that's cold. But in 1902, Willis Carrier invented the modern electric air conditioner in Buffalo, New York. His invention is still pretty much the same today. Essentially it is. When he created uh, air conditioning, he had to uh, find something that would evaporate, something that would condense. We asked Ken Buwalda of Cool Ray Heating and Air to explain how it all works. And it all starts outside your home with the compressor. It takes refrigerant and pumps it into this coil that surrounds the machine. This fan pulls the heat out of the refrigerant and turns it from a hot gas state into a liquid state. Now the refrigerant is really the key. You might recall it as Freon. It's a colorless, odorless gas that changes states quickly, like from a gas to a liquid. And right before it enters the evaporator coil, it changes again to a cold vapor. It then drops below what's called the dew point. And the dew point is actually where moisture forms. It draws that heat and humidity out of the air via this evaporator coil. And it does it really fast. Ken says the refrigerant moves at a speed of about 100 miles per hour, making the loop in your home a thousand times per minute. Now only if we could agree on a temperature, that may take another thousand years.